Cozy here. Here we have a completing the square question. We're asked to rewrite this quadratic expression in a slightly different form. This negative 6 is annoying. Let's just take that outside brackets. We'll still have a minus 25 at the end, but we've got rid of that and we're basically now looking at x squared minus 4x and attempting to write that as two brackets that are identical, the x times x. Now, outside and inside products will give us negative 4x. They'll both have to be negative 2. However, if we multiply these out, we get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Now that plus 4 was not there at the beginning. So we'll need to be very careful with that. If we write x squared minus 4x as x minus 2 times x minus 2, we've added a 4. We don't need that 4, so let's take it away. So that now, when you multiply all this out, you get x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4. So there is no constant there. So that's OK so far. We now just need to reintroduce this negative 6 to proceedings. We've got negative 6 times that x minus 2 all squared. We've got negative 6 times negative 4 is 24. And then we've got a negative 25. Well, notice that negative 25 is not within these brackets, it's not multiplied by negative 6. So what have we got? Finally, you've got negative 6 times x minus 2 all squared, 24 minus 25 is negative 1. And that's certainly in the form uh, p, which is negative 6, x plus q, q is negative 2 all squared, plus r, r is negative 1. So we've achieved that um, completing the square. Let's now move on to part B and it tells you about a function which is negative 2x cubed plus 12x squared minus 25x plus 9. We're asked to show that this is strictly decreasing for any value of x at all. In other words the gradient on this graph and the graph of this function would be always downhill. When we differentiate, we're going to have to get a negative value. So let's differentiate to find out what the gradient formula is. And surprise, surprise, we've got the same expression that we had in part A. And we've n we now know that we can rewrite that expression in this special form. Now what we're trying to show is that this is a negative value. So let's look at the thinking. It doesn't matter what x is, x minus 2 all squared has to be greater than or equal to 0. If we square numbers you get positive answers or 0. So that part of it is always greater than or equal to zero. If we multiply that by negative six, that would mean something that's always positive or zero being multiplied by a negative number is always going to be negative or zero. And then if we take one away from something that's negative, it will still be negative, but take away one from something that's zero, that's going to be negative 1. That's going to be negative. So in the final analysis, if we now take negative, if we take 1 away from these values, we can only ever get a negative value. Because if it had been 0 and we take 1 away, we're going to get a negative value. So that means that f dashed of x which is what this expression is, is less than zero and therefore f, the graph 
of the function f or that function f is always, no matter what x is, is always decreasing. So we've explained our train of reasoning to get to that conclusion. That's Mr. Corsi signing out. Hope you enjoyed the video.